You know there's a great way to do dots on your nails? Hi, I'm Susie from Nail Care Education and I'm going to show you how to do those dots and a great way to secure these beautiful blingy bows. Let's get started. So my nails are kind of short and it feels really good. You can make a fist. It's nice to have them like that every now and then. On short nails, I really do like black. So I've got the black on. It's called Black Hole from OPI. And the other color I'm using for an accent nail is called Dream On by i and I'm going to be using this airbrush ink. It's also for the calligraphy pen that I often use in a lot of my videos. It's a really thin ink. It's not a thick ink because you can't get it through the pens. And it's very effective for these little dots. So I've given it a little pre-shake and it's ready to go. Okay. The reason why I say there's a certain way to do it, you can do dots all over the place and it looks more like snow falling, right? Or just dots everywhere. But this, I want it to look very symmetrical, like a pattern. It's almost like a quilted pattern. I'm gonna try the smaller dotting tool. Even though it's small, it'll still make a good sized dot. It also depends on how much pressure you put down on that dot. So try to be even with it, because you don't want little dots and, well, if you do want little dots and big dots, that's fine. But this particular style I'm gonna make, I'm gonna try to make them all the same size. So, how we're gonna do it is this. So when I place my first dot, I'm gonna go down the center. So when I place my first dot, Place it right at the cuticle and I'm going to go right down the center in line. Oops, see how much bigger that is? I'm going to go back and redot that one, make it a little bit bigger. See how they're right down the center into the line? So I am going to do another line on this side going right down, but I want it to be offset a little bit. So you see how these two dots are placed like that together? I'm going to go in between but over in this other line I talked about. So there'd be another dot here, so if I was to do one in between, it'd be right here. Again, right in between here, if I drew a line over, it'll be here and here. Then I'm going to turn it over on the side a little bit, and again, between these two dots, now I'm going to be lining up with this dot over here, and another imaginary line here, the dot will be there. So I'm going to do the same on that accent finger, that line right down to center. That last one was a little wimpy, so I just made them a little bit bigger, and maybe this one too. Every now and then I like to clean the paint off. It is an airbrush paint, it's a thinner paint, so it can dry faster. So just clean it off and re -dip. All the way down this side. It's very uniform dots. help for you to brace yourself too. If you're just in midair, it's a little harder. But you see how I brace my pinky finger underneath and leaning on? That really helps you sort of anchor yourself. It just makes it a little bit more steady. Sometimes if this pattern was to continue, there might be a little half dot right there. I mean, there really would be, honestly. So I'm going to do that on this one too. Okay, I'm going to do the thumb. I'm right-handed so today I'm going to do the other hand show you a few tips there's nothing really genius here other than if you are right-handed I hold this in my left hand of course I'm gonna to try to dot these ones on the opposite hand which I'm clearly not going to be as good at and the steadiness and getting the same size dots or anything but sometimes it's easier to hold your tool with the opposite hand and if you're right-handed then move your right hand into the tool because your right hand will be much more accurate than this one, right? So try to use your dominant hand as much as you can still. So I'll try to make it as accurate as I can to try to follow that pattern. Fortunately, nobody will scrutinize your nails as closely as my reveal shots. Those are pretty close. <laughs> wasn't as good. Trying to put it on an angle, that's what messes the dot up. I can fix some of the icky ones. So when someone says, oh your nails look good, you quickly give them the hand that you're really good at. <laughs> and then just, you know, kind of put that one away. <laughs> it's a little nail tech trick. It does work better than moving your dotting tool. 
Okay, I think I made it without any major catastrophes. Let's get to that jewel. So I do put my clear coat onto this before I will put the jewel down. This stuff does dry pretty quick. I'm gonna put the lid on it so I don't spill it. It does dry pretty fast, but you don't wanna put your top coat on too soon because if you put the top coat on top, it might smear your little dots right away. This hand is already dry because I've been spending so much time doing this one. So this one's good to go. So I'm gonna put my top coat on. I usually kind of scarily test the first one. I think I did this one first, right? So I'll put the polish on this one first and if nobody smears, then I know I'm good. It's good. So I'm gonna put the top coat on the rest of the nails. This is paint, so if you wash your hands right away, those dots will come off if you don't secure them with a top coat layer. If you do it with gel or nail polish, then it won't so much come off, but gel you'd secure and, and put under the lamp anyway. That hand's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna top coat this hand. Now I gotta wait for the top coat to dry because I can't get my jewels out of the package. So next time take your jewels out of the package before you paint your nails. <laughs> Just give me a sec. Okay, so you can't really tell. If you look up close, you really examine them. This one does look better than this one. But when you're just out and about and doing your thing, you can't really tell when you see them. They look really cute. So now I'm going to attempt to open this up. I've got two here. So I'm just trying to decide which one I like better. Um, this one's a little more dainty and smaller. My nails aren't huge. So I think I'm gonna go for this one, but they're both really cute. And I couldn't decide when I grabbed them. So now as I'm looking at them, I think I'm gonna go for this one. So I'm just gonna open these up. I stole them from my shop. Don't tell anybody. Here he comes. You can do this with a soft gel, but this could come off really easy if it's not secured properly. And it'd be really sad, you know, do some stuff and it goes down the drain or it falls off and you look down and it's gone, right? That'd be a bummer. So I find the best to do it with sculpting gel. And that's a thicker gel. It's a building gel. You don't want to do it with a soft gel polish because it looks good and it sticks immediately when you're there, but it may not last. I find getting the building gel is better. And you know what? I'm putting it on with a brush, but when I think about it, I think that's too much. And I'm going to use the dotting tool to pick up the gel. I don't need much. And I'm going to put that right where I want my bow. You can see that blob go on there. See that? And it's self-leveling, so it'll just, it'll level right out. I'm gonna pick up my little jewel. I probably have more of a blob on there than I need when I'm looking at it. Okay, so I'm gonna place it right on that blob of gel. Oh, isn't that cute? And you know what? I am gonna sort of pull the gel out there so you don't see that blob. I'm getting picky now. Okay, so get them exactly where you want it and then put them under the light. And it's about a 60 second cure in a LED. It'll be two to three minutes in a UV. Okay, so I took a little bit big blob last time with my sculpting gel. I won't take such a big one this time. I realize I didn't really need that much. So I'm just gonna put it in the spot where I want my little bow to be. And then pick up my little bow. I think that's where I want it. Okay, now they're all secure and you're ready to go. Now you need to find a little dress to go with this. It's really cute. <laughs> Let's check out those reveal pictures. Well, that's a fun design to do for short nails and you can do both hands easy if you wanna do it yourself. If you're a nail technician, you can tack this on the end of an appointment for a client. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.